What's the benefit of a convertible laptop? It provides both the convenience of a laptop and the flexibility of a tablet, and you can even set it up in tent mode for Netflix binges. Samsung might have done the job. They are launching the Galaxy Book 5 Pro 360, which is not only a two-in-one laptop, but also features the new AI-driven Intel Lunar Lake chip. Meanwhile, Surface laptops remind us of the older generation of MacBooks, but not in a good way. After the release of the Surface Laptop 5 in 2022, we got a mixed reaction from users. So in this video, we will compare these two exciting laptops and see which one actually justifies itself. The design of the Samsung Galaxy Book 5 Pro 360 closely mirrors that of its predecessor by retaining its sleek and lightweight two-in-one form factor. It's portable, which makes it easy to carry for work or travel. Despite being slim, the laptop is built with a strong aluminum body that feels durable with little to no flexing. Its minimalist, professional aesthetic fits well in both office and outdoor settings. In terms of ports, it's well equipped with two USB-C ports, an HDMI 2.1 port, a micro SD card slot, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and a USB-A port, a welcome feature for users who still rely on legacy devices. On the other hand, the Surface Laptop 5 is impressively thin and light, particularly in the 13.5-inch model, which weighs just 2.8 pounds. It comes in four colors, including sandstone, platinum, matte black, and the new sage. The sage color, while not bad, feels a little too muted for some tastes. Unfortunately, the port selection is limited by offering just one USB Type-C, one USB-A, an audio jack, and the Surface Connect port. While it's nice to see the USB-A included, the overall number of ports is quite lacking for a laptop at this price point. Samsung did a better job here, like the Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Edge, the Book 5 Pro 360 features a full keyboard for those who need a number pad. It features a 16-inch AMOLED display with a 120Hz refresh rate. Samsung claims its display reaches up to 400 nits of brightness in SDR mode and 500 nits in HDR. From what we observed, the screen was impressively bright, even under the intense lighting of Samsung's IFA booth. The OLED panel excels at delivering rich blacks and vivid whites, which enhances the overall viewing experience. As for the Surface Laptop 5, its bezels are a bit thicker than expected, which makes it puzzling to include a 720p webcam. While the laptop and keyboard perform well, they feel somewhat synthetic, reminiscent of the plasticky MacBook models from the mid-2000s. The laptop's shape also seems dated, which gives it a bland and uninspiring appearance. On a positive note, the touchscreen is highly responsive, but the non-OLED panel appears somewhat dim. Now let's have a look at the numbers. The Galaxy Book will feature memory options from 16 to 32 gigabytes and 512 to one terabyte of storage options. But the interesting spec lies under the hood. Equipped with the Intel Core Ultra 200V, also known as Lunar Lake, this is Samsung's latest contender in the rapidly growing AI-powered laptop market. As a Lunar Lake model, it's also expected to deliver better performance and improved energy efficiency. Another exciting addition to this laptop is the Intel Arc GPU. Although there are lots of mixed reactions to Intel's Arc GPUs, we have to wait and see how this one delivers. The most notable upgrade in the Surface Laptop 5 compared to the Surface Laptop 4 is the transition to Intel's 12th gen processors. Consumers can choose between the i5 12135U or i7 1255U, while business users have the option of the i5 1245U or i7 1265U, with the latter supporting Intel's vPro security features. This processor update also brings faster DDR5 memory configurations ranging from 8GB to 32GB. Storage options include 256GB, 512GB, or 1TB of removable SSDs, though removal is intended for technicians only. The Samsung Galaxy Book 5 Pro 360 is one of the first Lunar Lake laptops and promises to deliver excellent performance and battery life, at least according to Intel and Samsung. 
Intel claims this is the most efficient x86 processor ever. Laptops with Lunar Lake should deliver exceptional performance and breakthrough x86 power efficiency, according to Intel. The company also says Lunar Lake will have no compromise application compatibility, which is shot at Qualcomm's ARM-based Snapdragon X chips, which aren't always compatible with certain x86-based apps. According to Intel, Lunar Lake consumes 50% less power than the last-gen Meteor Lake chip. It also features up to 120 total platform tops across the chip's CPU, GPU, and NPU. The company claims Lunar Lake's XE2 integrated GPU can deliver up to 31% faster gaming performance over Meteor Lake. Performance on the Microsoft Surface Laptop 5 is a mixture of the good, the bad, and the ugly. The first notable feature is the focus mode, which silences notifications for a set duration, allowing you to concentrate on your work. Another useful addition is the snap feature, which lets you organize your screen into sections and easily position windows for smoother multitasking. As for sound, this is one of the best sounding non-gaming laptops we've tested. On the downside, while benchmark tests place it around average for its class, real-world use tells a different story. We encountered significant issues trying to run PC Mark 10, with the program crashing every time we attempted to use it. Even after multiple reboots and reinstallations, the problem persisted. There was also noticeable sluggishness when handling more demanding productivity tasks. Pre-orders haven't started for the Galaxy Book 5 Pro, and the official price is yet to be announced. So we hope Samsung will make a competitive price to grab the market. And the Surface One? The 13.5-inch starts at $1,253, and the 15-inch variant is priced at $1,799. For a laptop with so many issues, it's really expensive. So, what's our verdict? We won't make it complicated for you. It's clear that the Galaxy Book 5 Pro is going to be the clear winner. All Samsung has to do is make a competitive price and make sure the Lunar Lake chip performs well because users will spend money to buy laptops, not problems. Thanks for watching our video. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.